Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today we will solve an example of a bar with direct method. So let's start. So we have a stepped bar here and that is fixed from this end. The given cross-sectional area of this element of the bar that we represent with A1 is equal to 2 cm square. It is given. And of this area, uh, this cross-sectional area of this element uh, that is represented by A2 is 1 cm square. And both of the elements have the same length. So length of each element is 10 cm. With given value of modulus is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 7 newton per cm. And there is also one information that is given that we have a force applied on this end in this direction that is represented by P3 and have a magnitude of a newton. So these all of the information about this step bar here. So what we need to figure out the nodal displacements and reaction forces, if any. So let's start with the first step of the direct method. You know that in the first step of direct method, we have to discretize the whole geometry so it is convenient here to take this as a first element and this as the second element because the information provided is just um, corresponds to this thing that we have to assume this element as the first and this element as the second element so we know the number of elements is represented by capital N so this is 2 and this implies that how many nodes do we have that is capital N plus 1 is equal to 3 so there are two elements and three nodes are there. So two elements, one, two, and three nodes. This is the first node, this is the second node, and this is the third node. What type of element we have? We have a linear element here. So now moving towards the second step of the direct method, that is the formulation of the function. And we know from the second step that we have the finite element equation. So this is the finite element equation that we will use here. And now moving towards the third step, that is the formulation of the element level stiffness matrix and then the load vectors. So we know that while deriving the stiffness matrix of uh, each element, we know this thing. So here, this is the element level stiffness matrix. So let's write the stiffness matrix for the first element. So here we have E is equal to 1. We have to compute this A, E by L for the first element. So we know the first, the first element, the cross section area is 2 cm square. And the value of E is 2 into 10 to the power 7 divided by, we have length, and length of each element is 10 cm. So we have to solve it. After solving it, we will get so 4 into 10 to the power 6 newton per centimeter. So this is the value for the first element. Let's plug this value into this matrix. So we have this matrix, stiffness matrix for the first element. Now we'll compute this thing for the second element and then we will plug the values in the stiffness matrix for the second element for second element we have the cross section area one centimeter square e has the same value 2 into 10 to the power 7 and length is also same of 10 centimeter so here we are with 2 into 10 to the power 6 newton by centimeter so let's write the stiffness matrix for the second element so this is here we have the second element matrix stiffness matrix of the second element and stiffness matrix of the first element and now we have to write the load vector of this structure we know that in the load vector f1 f2 f3 are representing the force at node 1 the net force at node 2 and the net force at node 3 so here if we are on the node 1 so the only applied force external applied force is on the node 3 and there is no force on the node Two. But according to this, there will be a reaction force here 
and we don't have any exact amount of the reaction force but we will write that here is a reaction let's represent it by r at the two no two there is no force so we will write it at the net force is equal to zero and here the force is p3 so let's write here the net force is p3 that is of one newton so we have element level things we combine the element level things on the nodal vector but we we have to write a global stiffness matrix from these two stiffness matrices so in the next step of the fourth step of the, of the assembly we will write the assembled version of the stiffness matrix of this whole element of this whole uh, bar node element so moving toward the next step of the assembly so we have to write the values here by assembling these two element level stiffness matrices this is a nodal vector of the displacement and this is the nodal load vector that we have just derived so let's compute this we have 4 into 10 to the power 6 and then we have minus 4 into 10 to the power 6 and here is 0 and then minus 4 into 10 to the power 6 here we have 4 into 10 to the power 6 and plus of this value 2 into 10 to the power 6 and here we have minus 2 into 10 to the power 6 here we have 0 and here we have minus 2 into 10 to the power 6 and here we have 2 into 10 to the power 6 so let's simplify this matrix so we have this the only sum is at this point 6 4 plus 6 that is 2 so we have u1 u2 and u, u3 and we have r that is the reaction force 0 and p3 the applied force at the node 3 so we know the value of p3 that is 1 so let's plug the value here as well in the next step we have to apply the boundary values or the boundary conditions if we have any as we have the diagram and we know that at the node 1 the bar is fixed so we know that there is no displacement so u1 is equal to 0 here so u1 have 0 value here so what we have now we have a system of equation that and we have three unknowns u2 u3 and r so we have a system of equations we have three equations we have three unknowns that means that we have unique solution we will figure out what is the displacement at u2 what will be the displacement at u3 and what will be the reaction at node 1 so i'm not going into the details of how we can solve it because this is very straightforward i'm going to write the values of the displacement that we will be solving the system so the displacement at u2 and u3 will be 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter and at at u3 the displacement is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter the reaction that is r minus 1 newton so this is how we can solve a bar with the direct method and we can also figure out the stress or the strains if it is required in the statement of the question as direct method is very simple in order to do the stress analysis so this is for now like for most of the videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye